Okay, so the, the basically the whole thing about this is, you evil? You secretly evil? There's a reason for that. And let's find it out. Let's, let's fucking find out. It be spooky season. And since now I'm like kind of addicted to making quizzes at, at three in the morning, which I, I, I think, in my opinion, it's a little bit better than having like a deep, deep rooted addiction to things like alcohol or very hard drugs. Still doesn't mean it's a good thing. I probably should be asleep right now, but who sleeps anymore? And dark core personality test at, at at a page at three in the morning seemed a uh, perfect, just perfect for the spooky season. What is your dark core score? Oh, that try saying that three times. Dark core score. Dark core score. Dark core score. <coughs> what? Researchers have discovered that there's a common core to dark traits, which they call the dark core of personality. The dark core is general dispositional tendency. Oh, it's a general dispositional tendency that makes me not being able to read, out of which dark traits arise as specific manifestations. This is to say, all commonalities between various dark traits can be traced back to the core. That's kind of interesting. Do you have a dark core? For each of the following items, you indicate the level of agreement below. Okay, so the, the basically the whole thing about this is, you evil? You secretly evil? There's a reason for that. And let's find it out. Let's, let's fucking find out. Question oh, 1 of 40, 45. That's, well, I mean, I, I, it's not that I got anywhere to go, so. I fantasize about extraordinary prestige. Actually, no, I fantasize about having a house and not worry about bills or food. So I, I'd say, eh, maybe the normal amount. Let's go not that much. Come on. Next. Most people will probably enjoy hurting others if they had the chance. I don't think so, no. I, I like to think most of humanity is good and does not take joy in hurting others. I know people like do, I, because I see the news, but I don't think most of them know. Next. Payback needs to be quick and nasty. I mean... Uh, well, I mean, I try to... I try to, I try, I do, um, give, uh, an I do answer these tests, uh, fairly, not fairly, 100%, like, truthfully of what I think, because what's the point of taking a test if you're gonna lie, right? So, uh, I mean, yeah, it's pay, yeah, depending, but yeah. I only obey those whose laws that seem more reasonable to me. I mean, yeah! Because, come on, I mean, I mean, listen, listen, listen. Following every single law, even if you don't think it's just or reasonable, does not make you a good person. It makes you an obedient person, and I, that's never a good thing to be. So, yeah, I mean, like, look, if you saw a dog dying of thirst and hunger in another house that you could easily access to, that technically, that technically would be breaking the law, breaking and entering, but you would save the dog, like, come on, yeah, I think that's pretty reasonable to do that. Hearing about others praise me, oh, hearing others praise me is something I look forward to. I know, I really don't know how to handle praise, and it makes me very, very uncomfortable, so I disagree a lot with that. Like, I've never, I've never, no, I just don't like that, no. If I had an opportunity, I would gladly pay a small sum of money to see a classmate whom I do not like fail at a job or exam. Uh, you know, this is very difficult, because, you know, that's the thing, right? Seeing people you don't like being good at things and, like, succeeding is kind of validating the fact that you, they're not, like, bad at everything, it's just something you feel. But no, I wouldn't say I would pay money, like real money, to see them fail. No, no, I do not know. Maybe if I had spending, no, no, not even if I had spending money, I would not, I would never. People who get mistreated usually have done something to deserve it. No. No, they never, they never, like, that, 
Blaming the victim thing is like the worst things you can do. It's gross. I don't like it. Next. I humiliate others in order to keep them in line. What the fuck? I mean, whoa, it's a dark core personality. I guess there's people that actually do that, but Jesus Christ. No. Why? Some people have to be treated roughly because they lack feelings that can be hurt. Okay, what? what let me do, What? Some people have to be treated roughly because they lack feelings that can be hurt. Okay, so like you're saying is it's okay to treat people badly if don't feel they don't they don't feel bad? No. No. Next. Those with superior talents should not. I mean, those with superior talents should not hide them, right? That makes sense. That's not evil or bad. Like, why would you do that? No, no, no. I totally agree. If you're good at something, just go, go, go do it. If I oppose the election of an official, I would be glad to see them fail. Even if their failure hurt my community. Uh, that's the thing, right? I mean, but for the first, I mean, here's the thing. If, if they would be good for the community, why would you oppose them, right? I mean, if they fail and that hurts the community, it means that as an official, they're good for the community. So no, why would you? Why would I do that? No, no, no. I, I would oppose it. Uh, I, I would extern my disagreement, but I wouldn't see them fail just for petty shit. Next, I'll say anything to get what I want. I mean, like flattery. Like, saying things you don't mean? Like, saying, like, to a teacher, Oh, I love your haircut, even you, you know, you don't love the, you don't love the thing, you don't love whatever they did with the, whatever that is. Um, I don't think, no. Nah, I mean, flattery is, flattery is just, that, that's what it is, right? Like, no, vain flattery, I mean, no, fake flattery. I guess we'll do it, in a way or another, but I don't think I would say, like, on purpose, but... I'm not gonna completely disagree with it because, you know, flattery is it's basically what it is. It's okay to lie since you never know who you can trust. I mean, I, w I wouldn't say it's okay to lie, but maybe not. Maybe not, like, share unnecessary information. Next. With everyone, I mean. I might be willing to take a punch if it made that someone I did not like receive two punches. That would be very stupid. Next. I expect special favors from others. Please. Please. As if I deserve anything. No. People see me as especially worth... <laughs> oh. No. I'm the equivalent of the extra friend like you know when you get a group of friends like it's well established and everything and there's like an extra like i'm the friend that gets left behind on very very narrow sidewalks so no no i don't even think i'm specially worthy of admiration like no taking something without the owner's permission is okay as long as you're just powering it i mean as someone with three siblings i wouldn't say it's a, like a bad thing maybe if you know them well taking something yeah i mean sure if you're just borrowing it right right i use slides to get my way uh no not really hmm no. It is sometimes worth talking with. Uh, wait. It is sometimes worth taking a little suffering yourself if it means. Look! N never, never, never. That punishes them. No. Listen, the thing about hurting yourself and to hurt others is never smart and it's kind of like s stupid. Like, I'm gonna hurt myself a little bit so they get hurt a lot. But no, you just hurt yourself a little bit. So, I mean, it doesn't. It's. Look, if you're gonna get a revenge or whatever, like. It should, it should at least be planned as for you to not get hurt. Like, you, I mean, there's gotta be a way, right? No, so I think it's very stupid. No, it's not. Next. There are no right and wrong ways of making money. Oh, baby, believe me, there are. So much as they're e easy. No, no. Listen, listen. Sweatshops in Asia 
and like blood diamonds are very very wrong not objectively some things are good and are some things like you can say objectively there's like no good or bad or whatever stupid argument that is i, I don't believe in that argument at all but yeah yeah there are some things that are wrong <laughs> some things that are right and there's no right i mean there is a right way and a wrong way to make your money so miss me with that shit it is important to me that I am not. Wait. It is important to me that I am more successful than others. Nah. It is important to me that I'm more successful. No, not not really. Like I'm content with a life of mediocrity. Next. I often have. Ugh. I often have fantasies which involve hurt, hurting other people. No. I deserve more than a career. Mm. Well, I don't really have a job, and I don't really like work. Well, I don't really work to improve my life, so I wouldn't say I deserve what I have. No. No. I honestly feel like I'm more deserving than others. No. <laughs> like, there should be a pattern right now that my self-esteem is not the best. And like, not even that, it's like realistically, you know? I avoid direct conflict with people who may be useful to me in the future. That's kind of it's kind of hypocrite, isn't it? I mean, I avoid conflict like direct conflict in general, but right? I mean, who may be useful? I mean, I avoid direct conflict everywhere, so I mean, I guess no. I mean, if I have to, like, make conflict with someone, I wouldn't care if they were useful to me in the future, so no, I guess. It's okay to lie if it's- oh! Uh, uh, well, I mean, look, if my little sister's dog dies, and she doesn't want to- and she doesn't need to learn about death right then and there, I would just say, hey, he went to a farm in a high priority land, and he will live forever there, but... It wouldn't be like bad, so yeah, not the best. Maybe I agree a little bit. I keep track of sensitive information that can be used to hurt people at a later time. What the fuck is this? I, what the fuck is with this like fucking questions? What the hell? No. No. Jeez. I have enjoyed hurting someone physically, sexual, emotionally. No. 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 My own happiness is more important than other people. Mm, no. No, no, I wouldn't say no. <laughs> My happiness. I, I, I wish that existed. I look down on people who unwisely share their secrets. See, I have a problem with this one. I'm usually the kind of guy who doesn't overshare. <laughs> I say, as I make a channel specifically to overshare. <laughs> no, but like in real life, like wh where things matter, <laughs> when it's not a void that nobody ever comes into. I mean, in the void, you can say whatever you want, be whatever you want, and that's okay. But outside of it, when people are real, uh, no, I, I don't, I don't think it would be wise, and I don't like people who, like, overshare their stupid shit. And, like, not even stupid shit, like, sensitive information that shouldn't be, like, talked about aloud out loud, I don't know, I, I, I won't say I'd look down, but I would agree that it's not the best course of action. I can be really nasty when I take my revenge. I don't take revenge. I, I don't think I've ever taken a revenge. So, no, I, I wouldn't say so, no. Compared to other bad things people do, stealing something small from a store isn't uh, worth worrying about. Listen, the thing about stealing from stores is not, that, is that you, you're not, like, showing the big capitalist man, like, you're not part of that society. It's you're stealing from a store, and then the people working on the store get penalized like this the company wouldn't would never know like company doesn't give a shit you think a multi-million company I, I you think a company like i don't know sephora or something like that will care if like a lipstick goes missing i don't know but you know who cares people working there and they get they get reprimanded and then they get that shit like discounted for their little pay already so no it, it's a big thing and it shouldn't do it no 
It is something I should worry about. Fuck that. Are we willing to pay more for certain goods if other people... No. Had to pay even more? Why would I do that? Who wins in this situation? No. I like to pick. pick. Losers. Wow. That's a bit 90s bully thing. But I have never in my life. And I will never do it. Ew. Most people don't really care about others. And as I said, I want to think the majority of people are good people. I know there's a percentage. There's a percentage over here that doesn't that doesn't care. But that's tidy. It's compared to everyone else. So I, I really want to think most people really care about other people. I refrain from telling people the real reason I did something unless it is useful to do. What does that mean? Like... I refrain from telling people the reason is something that's useful to do. Like, why? That's unnecessary. Just tell- Why would you hide the reason for doing something? That doesn't make sense. I'm constantly looking for ways to get ahead. Mm, no, I'm a pretty lazy bitch and I never do anything, so nah. I can get so angry when I hurt people. Uh, no. I'm not a physical violent guy. Not, not really. I don't see the point of it. People like me deserve more perks and advantages than the average person. No! People like me should be killed on the street. Killed on sight. And I, I want to say people like me. I me. Me. <laughs> Just me. Like me as a person. Kill me. Please. No. No. I should not have to deal with trivial matters of the humdrum of everyday life. I want to be treated like a king, and uh, I deserve to be brought place to place in a carriage lifted by four very muscular and attractive men. No. <laughs> I should I should deal with this, and it's part of being a human. Fuck that. I am especially motivated, so I was making friends with very important people. I am especially anxious <laughs> of making friends with important people. Not that I know of that many important people, but like, you know, I do some activism. So, and when I meet like people who've been doing that for a long time, which like I guess would be classified as important, I get really anxious and, and I don't wanna kinda not do that. So I wouldn't say I get motivated. I no. I no. People who mess with me are like, mm, no. You know, you could really like throw a bowl of very hot soup into my legs and I would say sorry to you probably. I really don't have like a um, standard to be treated as a human being. So no. I deserve to have great things come into my life. No, I deserve garbage and death, pestilence and famine. I spend a lot of time looking for opportunities to a uh, higher social, mm, social status. Not really, I'm not a very social person, don't care about that. Next. Eh, I think that's kind of... You know... What an hypocrite would do. I don't dig that, I don't like, get that vibe. I am not... I don't roll like that. Like, bothered off people... To, like, make them like you, it's very weird to me. So I would say...